hello and welcome to my channel in this tutorial we are going to learn how to implement add more banner adverts in sketcher pro so please before you start watching this tutorial just make sure you have watched the part one of my add more tutorials so um from where we stopped in the last tutorial i'm just going to have to continue all you just need to do is after you've um, imported the after you you've imported your um components just add the banner adverts component then you can give it any name I'm going to use any banner. but one thing you just need to take note of is that you can create or add more banner adverts in an activity um, by simply adding new banner adverts components let's just give this one um s banner that's just in case we want to add um, or in case you want to have two banner adverts, you can do that. But since I just want to use one, okay, then on um, activity create, we have to create a more block to help us um, carry out our heavy work. So let's just go back name banner as. Okay, then when you've created the move block, you can add it here on the initializer block. Okay, then at the move block, we have to start the main thing. So, um, from here, you just have to go to my blog. Link to the blog is in the description below. Then you have to copy this. Um, code here. This is actually the um, the banner advert tests add unit ID. So if you want to show a real uh, banner advert, you have to use your own test unit um, banner ad ID. And you also have to take note of uh, um, the certain rules and regulations which you have to follow so that you won't get banned or so. So uh, let's just initialize the advert in the activity that's the main activity with the add unit id that's the one we've just copied then we have to inflate the advert into a view we're going to have to do this this way rather than using xml code so you can see the view i'm just going to give it a name linear banner add can give it a name actually so uh, after you've done that you can just go back then you input the banner advert into the linear layout and then you set its size let me just use a regular size so in case or if at all you wanted to um, show this banner advert in a fragment you can actually replace this block this block here with this one but since I'm not going to do that since I am using an activity other than a fragment I'm going to have to use this block so after you've set the banner size you have to show the advert with a request ID that's this ID here let's just add a request ID let's call it RID then you have to set the listeners for the banner adverts these listeners are going to handle the events that will call while the banner advert is um, uh, being tried or is working or showing. Okay, so just add this here on banner add load or loaded on fill to load. You add this error block here. Then on banner ad open, on banner advert clicked, and on banner advert closed. Then we have to toast or give toast on banner ad.
So after you've done that, you are done. That's you are finished with the uh, banner adverts. So in case you want to add two banner adverts in the view, as I said earlier, you can just add a new layout that you have to inflate the new banner ad into a new linear layout. So let's just create a new one called M S. That's my new banner with the variable name MS. Still same thing. I'm just going to copy this and bring this down here. Change this to MS. Change this here to MS. Then inflate it into a view. Then the request ID needs to be different. So RIDO. Okay and we are good to go so let me change the banner advert size of this one i change it to a large banner okay so after you've done that you can just simply run your project okay so um when your project is done Compiling or it is ready to be installed, you just install it. It's quite simple using this method, and I also explain some reasons why this SDK is actually better than the one of Sketcher Pros, even up to the latest Sketcher Pro. Okay. Sometimes maybe um it may be as a result of network error or just as a result of you just starting the app for the first time. So I'm going to start it again. Okay, and here you go. You've actually you've actually um loaded uh, the banner adverts which you wanted to load. Here is the normal banner and here is the leaderboard banner. Alright, so do all to like this video and subscribe to this channel for more videos like this. I'll be uploading more tutorials concerning all Admobats. See you in the next one.